No, so I would just. divided into the core city and 11 districts with 14,247 inhabitants. Yesterday, one pain with my daughter's friend got a baby, so it was one more. <laughs> 8,257 people, 58% live in the core city, 5,940, 42% in the district. There are really little villages around. Date back 120 years before it was mentioned, and um, a geographic characteristics is the river Fulda, fertile farmlands, and valleys running south, north, and east. Early settlement is indicated. So we see migration was always being. An issue for paper. First documents as Ibarago, Iba water, in the year 1769 AD. And uh, if we celebrate and we have to drink, we say Beba Wasser, Beba Wasser, Hoi, Hoi, Hoi means Iba water. <laughs> so it's still Ibarago. From village to railway junction, 1848, first railway through Bibra. Other followed and made Bibra an important Eisenbahn Totenburg. This is a very funny German word. It means railway junction, but it's railway knitting point. So I think you all have funny words in your language. Until today, the railway station is the most important part of Bibra. The residents are very determined to it. The railway station means progress, work, secure income. At least 30% of people's residents work for the railway. Workers from Eastern and South of Russell group worked in track rail constructions in and around Ypres. Some of them stayed. 1980s, Deutsche Bahn, German railway, was restructured, which lead to a lot of use of numbers, jobs in the area of Libra. This was a very traumatic point. It's not only they lose the jobs, they lose everything. Um, we have um, a choir, a railway station choir, a lot of things, and they, they just to put the carpet under their feet away. And you can see the railway is around us, you, you, if you stuck here, always uh, you know, finish as a rail as a, at rail, railways. There's a water tower, and now we have this little uh, railway for 
the children, and you know, it was a really point. 1990, German reunification lead to further reduction in jobs as the companies moved their production facilities to the east. This was the next break. The mood among the population was bad, as they were afraid of lose their livelihoods. Bieber was called the Turkish town by the surrounding villages. And it was, uh, for the youth, it was not nice to be, just mention that they lived in Bieber. That they don't want to live there. 2009, the establishment of the Economic Development Agency of Bieber Market, a turning point. The city center was mobilized through events and construction measures. Investors, especially from those second generation of immigrants, changed the spread. A modern shopping center opened in the city in 2014. Uh, I mentioned that I'm a city councillor, and this was one of the um, it was a point for me to say yes, 14 million euro goes to this city centre. It was a um, turning point, you know, it could be nice or not, and then the money was gone. But, you know, it was a really, really good decision, otherwise we were for staff then. In 2019, a locomotive sheet was restored in an event venue. A railway station building reopened as a museum and co-working co space. This is um, for the people in Vipa. If you go there, uh, the first time you have the feeling you step in another world, it's not Vipa. It's a, not a, just a museum, it's this museum and co-working spaces. But it's not words you get close to Vipa. It's in Frankfurt. Now we have this in April, we are very proud of it. The mood among the resistance is rising. People are proud of the city again. This is um, the new shopping mail. It's not the nickname, it's the name, B. First, when they mentioned this name, everybody says they're oh, crazy. B, what is it, B? But in Germany, B means uh, begeistert. It's uh, the, the first uh, two. Um, Letters. letters from a lot of uh, nice things yeah. and so the B is uh, very positive and um, this building was really a changing point in Vipra. When you, you go there in the morning there were the older citizens sitting there, talk together and in the afternoon the younger ones. So the older one said, Christina, they just built it for us. <laughs> to, to have a meeting point. Now, 1960 to 1980, the immigration history. The economic gro growth of people needed new workers. Workers from Italy, Spain, Turkey came to people. It was not planned to integrate them into society because they were meant to leave Germany within several years. Also in Vipa, there was no, no planned integration. Fortunately, a few resist resistance showed voluntary com commitment. There were no uh, German lessons or no need to, to get in touch with them. There were the workers of Turkish people. The Spanish is a little bit different because they're Christians, but all Muslim peoples, they go away. 2000. 14 to today, Libra, receiving refugees from Syria, Eritrea, Afghanistan, and a lot of other countries. The infrastructure from integration has further developed. Develop. Germany is better prepared now. Professional and civil commitments, support, and accelerate the process of integration. Already existing structures, communities of mini grants and pillars of integration are pillars of integration work. Refugees from the Ukraine come to Bibra. Mostly they find support by their relatives. The city of Bibra set up an assistance fund and supports the integration work of the churches. 
and this is changing every day. This was last week, and um, in the moment, um, families from the Ukraine are coming. We have uh, plans, and you know, it's I work at school, and every every day, um, young people came, and it's very dynamic. Today, today, 2,248 people from 74 different nations live in Bibra. You see, Syrian, Turkey, Poland, Romania, Ukraine, North Macedonia. And as I think the Ukraine will, uh, yeah, it's going on and on. Persons of non-German nationality, most of the migrants live in the city center. 450 migrants live in the district. Under 60 year old, 30% in the city center and 60% in the district. And um, there are some districts uh, which have only one family, and the bigger ones than the more, but you see the most live in the city center. A lot of migrants, first and second generation, who came to Bieber between 1960 and 1990 have a German passport and are not foreigners by statistic. The same with so-called Russian Germanies. Their ancestors left Germany 200 years ago and after the downfall of the Soviet Union, they came back. Overall, every second child of the city center has parents with foreign roots. Here you can see it's an old photo, and one of uh, the <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, one of the uh, guys who is sitting there is now a teacher, and he is also a city councillor, and uh, it's a really old photo. It's Johannes there, and um, yes, <laughs> so all that. The uh, migrant, migrant organizations are the Society of the Spanish Migrants since 1979. 100 members. Now they have the FC Real Español as a football club. And then the Turkish Islamic Culture Club established in 1983 with own location. We have our own mosque. They have the mosque. Uh, 500 members belongs to the, go the governing body of the region. The Syrian Orthodox established in 1992, 1,000 members. 1996, conflict regarding the building of the church. 2002, inauguration of the new church. This was a really, really big issue in Bibra, this church, because it was a really big conflict. Then we have the Mennonite Free Ring Church, 260 members, uh, and they built 2011 uh, really big parish hall, um, but they are really separate. They don't want to participate in the town and um, they send their children to the next town to school because that's easier. They're very Christian. They don't say they say don't uh, read this book and no witches, no nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's a big point. The Alban Cultural Association, 2005, 150 members, and we have Scotland Mustavi Football World Champion. Mm -hmm. Proud of him. <laughs> There's also a small Yazidish com Yazid com community without own, without own location and the uh, Eritre Eritrean community who worships in the Syrian Orthodox Church and both communities have 120 members each. Yes, since 2014, many young families have been accommodated or moved to Bifra. 
a lot of places in kindergarten are missing, and that's a really, really, really big point. The city of Gateway tries to cover the needs via emergency groups and spare rooms. The solution of the problem will be building of a new family center in 2024. We hope, because it's very dynamic and um, Simon Charman families say, okay, kindergarten is full of immigrants and it's, it's a diff difficult part. New classes had to be established in state schools too. Partly there are classes for children to learn the German language and the district plans to enlarge the elementary school. And in Germany we say wir platzen aus allen Wegen. Everything is closed now. The migrants of the second and third generation are investors and obtain the structural and economic infrastructure. We have markets, small businesses, jewelry, grocery, cosmetic, um, a lot of small markets, trade of used cars. I think um, one of the owners has the biggest used car in, in whole Germany. And, uh, Restaurants, barber shops, a lot of shops. <laughs> and I think it's, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the political and public administration, only with German and EU citizenship, total share of migrants with and without German citizenship are not yet proportionate to the former political bodies. Uh, city Council of Paper is in 9%. It's not good, I think. The lack of strength is 20%. And municipal administration, 10%. And uh, we have, uh, you saw the young man there, Johannes. He is one city councillor, and um, it was hard work to, to push him there. And then he said, okay, we have to, I remember the sentence, we have to show our face now. Mm -hmm. And it's still really hard for him to step forward and say, okay, I'm standing here as a German, but my roots are, mm -hmm. no. and yes, I hope we are never. Um, in Hessen since 1993, Council of Foreigners are pooled, sorry, for cities with more than 1,000 foreigners so, so far as well. The Council has an advisory function in the city parliament that cannot vote. The opportunity of interference was not used by now. And uh, the uh, German population noticed kind of participation. In 1993, the vote turned out of the foreign people was 51%. In 2010, it went down to 90, maybe 20%. The current election, only members of the Islamic Cultural Association stood to election. And so, you know, only one part was presented and it was not so good. Now we have the Integration Commission. Degrees of participation at the election of the Council of Foreigners in the last years. In many cities, no Council of Foreigners were established. No obligation for cities to ensure integration and participation other ways. Um, in Libra, no one noticed it. It was only this uh, Turkish community who sent um, people there and, uh, you know, it was a little room in the city hall they can use, but it was not good. Um, now cities can choose between a council of foreigners and an and a integration commission. Integration commission consists of competent citizens and politicians. Co-chairman is a competent citizen and should have a migration background. The Integration Commission advised 
the municipal bodies in all affairs that affect foreign citizens. The public administration has a duty of informed the integration commission on all topics. Um, yeah. Right to application of the integration commission in the city council meeting. Uh, you say right to be heard in all municipal bodies at least four meetings per year. Annual report. Can I, can I suggest we discuss yes. this this often because this is the case also for the good participation. I, I know. But you only have five minutes left. Yeah. Okay, so I like you know, I have mentioned. <laughs> 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 yes. But you know, I, I want to tell it from my part because yes. I'm uh, a piece of this. Okay. And so um, it's um, the Um, you know, we, um, it was a hard process of uh, to, uh, to find people who joined this, um, yeah, this integration commission. And we, we had to find people who step up and show their face. And um, we, have to, we have to ask women and men and from the political. Um, and it was a really hard process. And we are now, this is the first step, and it's, it's a really hard work. On the paper, it looks really good. <laughs> and, and it's really hard for the city councilor from the parties when an immigrant came and said, mm, you have to ask me, because I'm part of this um, integration commission. And so this is, um, yes, these are the steps we are going in paper. And I'm proud that we go this way. And I can tell you it's a hard way in Vipa, from the Turkish town to the town uh, the people are proud of. But uh, a lot of German, or yes, people, German said, uh, we did it, and they don't see the parts of the immigrants. Mm -hmm. And this goes to the integration commission as well. Mm -hmm. um, they say, okay, we have this, but must we hear about this? Yes. We have Ms. Aitan Atala. Uh, she is the co chairperson. And um, I'm, I think it's very good that she's a woman. Uh, it's not. Uh, a man who made this is its mayor and, and she there. Yeah. And um, we figured out that we wanted the language promotion, the promotion of association and cultural exchange. These are the points uh, where we want to go further. And we did some things. We go to the exhibition and uh, join the meeting round table for social community commitment and show up as the integration commission and the integration movement as well. And uh, this, I think it's a long way to go. And so we hope we can go it and we are glad to have uh, the only effort on our side. They look from outside and yeah, are saying next to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, next one, the next one. Mm -hmm. This one? Oh. Yes. Thank you for your attention. I hope my English was. <laughs>